Hello and welcome to the Overshadow Shadowcast. We're your hostess, it's Abigail. And that delightful was provided by Thomas Anderson. Well, if you're the hostess, what am I? The feck wizard. <laughs> I don't think you can say that. I was trying to think of something and everything that popped into my head was incredibly rude. Yeah, well, I was basing it on tech wizard, so that would make me the feck wizard. That's a bad word in, in no, Father isn't. Ted. Yeah, exactly. It's not actually a swear word. I think that's the first time I've ever introduced the show with you here. Mm -hmm. Did I do well? Mm -hmm. this you just is didn't good. have anything prepared for me, so you went... And that, uh, mm. <clears throat> I don't think I did that exactly, but okay. Anyway. Right, fine. You just do all my job for me. We've got no stories this week because it's been an incredibly busy week and neither of us have actually been able to pre prepare, a prepare a story. Um, no, it's, it's things we want to talk about. There's um, the Perfect Dark game that's coming out or in development. There's the recent release of information by 343 Studios when it comes to Halo Infinite. Yeah, that's not going to be delayed. released. It's not going to be released till was it August next year? Yep, I want to talk about those things, but I just think that those are things that we. There's also the left-handed story, but those are things that we need to look at properly. And um, oh, there's also the inverse, the inverse control thing that you wanted to talk about because you asked me if I use inverse control. That inverse was it. Flight. It wasn't the left-handed story. It was the inverted control. I was trying to think yeah. what the left-handed story was. Mm. It's actually the uh, inverse. Because you asked me, do I inverse my controls? And I said, yes. And you asked yes, why that was. I have a theory. And before I read the story and then we talk about it next week, I want to share my theory. Continue. My theory is that you invert if you use your head to look and you don't if you use your eyes. Okay, I think I get it. So like if I'm looking down, I purposely put my head down. If I'm looking up, I tilt my head up. Well, if you, yeah, so if we go with the people who don't invert, right? If you push forward as in to look up, you remove your eyes up right? And if you push down, you move your eyes down, right? Yeah. You don't consider the eyes to be orbs or balls in your head. It's just that's the way they're looking. However, if you if you look down, right, you tip your head forward. Sorry, I just did some. Uh, the mic might not have sounded pretty good there when I tip my head forward and I'm speaking to my kneecaps. However, if you're looking up, you tip your head back. Back is to pull down on the controller, forward is to push up. So it's inverted, but it doesn't feel that way to the person that's doing it. Yeah, I don't know why I I because I invert all my controls, and I think it's because I don't know why. I think that's probably what a do good you think idea. Of my theory. Yeah, I I understand it. I think that's a good theory because I know that if I look up, I tend to lift my entire head. If I look down, I don't use like I have to put yeah. my entire head down. It's I something don't. that I noticed that when people are explaining it. If somebody explains that forward is is up and uh, back is down, they don't move their head. But when somebody tries to explain why they invert and they say, yeah, because if you pull back, you look up, they'll tip their head to look up, to simulate looking up. It's also like a seesaw. You go down, goes down, goes up, it goes up. My brain made that. My brain found that to be make sense. When I said it, it didn't make sense. It was sounded not sounded logical in my brain, but when I went to verbally say it, as nothing opposed to makes... non-verbally say it. <laughs> the only way what you said makes sense is if some poor soul is out there with their eyeballs alternatingly moving up and down their face like I... a seesaw. No, but if you look at a seesaw, you've only got one head, right? And your eyes move in the same direction when you look, unless you look in the way. If you look at a seesaw, like like if you're on the other end of the seesaw and. The other end is down. That makes no sense either. I apologize. None of this made sense. I thought it did. It all did not. I can think of, all I can think of is that you move down in the seesaw and then have to look up. I love the seesaw. That's all I can think of. I miss Other seesaws. than that, I think you've, I think you've had a breakdown. <laughs> That's all I can think of. You've had too much of the old mulled wine and Christmas sherry. Uh, I don't drink Christmas sherry I, uh, or mulled wine. It's no, Bailey's. you just throw it in your face and then say, look, a jigsaw or whatever <laughs> type of saw you're talking about. A jigsaw is a type of saw. Yeah, you can have a jigsaw as well as a jigsaw I puzzle. I know. That's why I'm What saying. came first, the jigsaw puzzle or the jigsaw? The jigsaw. 
it, logically, if it's a jigsaw puzzle, you have to have the jigsaw, otherwise it's just a puzzle. I'm literally just trying to make you laugh. Resign. <laughs> I'm trying to make your brain explode. Yeah. Right. Speaking of exploding, we've been playing All Rainbow right. Siege 6. How do you get it wrong every time? <laughs> I thought I got it right the way you looked at me. It looked like I got it right. I was so happy that you said... <laughs> Six Siege. Six Siege. I apologize. He's now crying. There's not rain. There's not six Rainbow Siege games. Can I it's just call the it six rainbow? rainbow game. Or no, it's not a six Rainbow game. Sorry, the team is called Rainbow Six in uh, previous games, not this one, because there's no actual mention of the team. But in previous games, it was Rainbow S Rainbow Six. That was what the team was called, and then it's the name of the specific game, like New Vegas. Rainbow New Vegas? No, Six Vegas. Siege. Yeah. I tried to explain that and made mistakes all the way through it. <laughs> the team is called Rainbow Six, so you always start with that, and then it's the name of that particular game. I apologize. Yet again, I said it wrong. Mm -hmm. Rainbow Six Siege. Mm -hmm. Not Siege Six. I, do you know what it mm -hmm. is? Do you know why? It's because it's more. it's alphabetically correct. Siege Six to six siege so that's why my brain the only time you actually know how the alphabet works <laughs> i was literally just thinking that i was like my little dyslexic brain it's the only time it's actually going to work it's and it keeps putting it in the wrong way <laughs> uh, tell the lady and gentle like and or gentleman who is listening at home uh, what we were doing we were playing the game as various characters operators operators and i kept forgetting what mine did and i kept dying and tommy kept having to try and save me and then he also died so do you remember one of the time we did it was a, let me start that again it was it was a hostage oh. one we did a hostage one um, protect the hostage yeah you were mira uh, and i was ca someone and you had this special ability where in a reinforced wall you could put in a window Yes. And you put it in the perfect place, but you didn't realize the window was one way. So you no. kept hiding from the window. Yes, because I thought then they the could see me. Then the second time we did it, I went a character with armor drops, which I got confused over because I genuinely thought they were little armor plating walls, but they're not. They're like armor plated door barriers. I'm not sure how they work. Um, we never lasted long enough in that particular game to find out, did we? No. Because when you used your mirror and you knew this was one way at the time so you could just sit there and look no, at I it. No, I didn't know it was one way. Oh, you didn't know that by this point. It wasn't until right. so you... So you did, what you did as a solution was you stood up and put it on the wall and then crouched thinking I'll crouch and then I'll pop up and I'll die. He, 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 they'll never see me which they couldn't anyway. And then I said to you, right, well, you need to tell me when they're coming so I can shotgun through, through this door barricade. Unfortunately, you said, oh, well, they're probably there then. So I walked up to the door barricade and because you hadn't been looking through the window, when they put a breaching charge on the door and blew it up, I was standing right in front of it and got absolutely annihilated. Yes, and then it was all up to me and then I survived for all of 10 seconds. Yeah, you, you didn't even get 10 seconds. Yes. Suffice it to say, boo. It did not work. We did some elimination games though and, and some disarm the bombs. It needs a few more variants. There's only like three or four and it gets a bit boring. Yeah, the maps are getting quite boring. Not just the maps, but it's the actual game type. Do you remember It's the either disarm the bomb, save the hostage, protect the hostage, kill everyone. Do you remember the one where I went on the roof and you went through the building and I did pretty well by myself? I took out quite a lot of people mm -hmm. and that taught you that you needed to trust me. And mm. then there were games afterwards which revoked that trust. Mm -hmm. Big time. Like the one where you said, uh, it was uh, Disarm the Bomb, and you said, can I put my grenade thing on that wall? Please, I want to use it, please. Right, fine. So you put it on the wall. I go to the left to go through a doorway to see what's happening. You activate your grenade thing, and it goes um, thump, 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 to fire throw four grenades yes. through the wall. Yes. And all I heard... Was after the first doomf, I heard bounce. Now, obviously, that's not what I heard. The grenade didn't hit the wall and say bounce, but I heard boom, 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 boom. So I turned around. You had attached it to a wall that was firing it into the corridor I was standing in. <laughs> I didn't right know that, in though. front of me. 
I didn't know that though. I didn't know you were there. So basically, all I said was, "Oh goodness me," and then legged it as fast as I could. And you sort of realised what was happening when you were in you had, you were still in the room. Yeah. And you had backed away. <laughs> Click. Hmm. I wonder how many people I'll kill. And then I come sprinting in the doorway as all the explosions go <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, God. I just wanted to try using the, the toys. Every time it didn't work out, I was very upset. But I think I just need more practice at some of them. And then some t- at one point, I think I knew I would, it just wasn't going well. So I was just going, I'm just going to do what I want now. I just destroyed half of the... <laughs> or do you remember yeah, that yeah. time? You remember that time you said, uh, okay, Abby, I'll put, put a breach charge on that wall. And I thought, and I misunderstood you. And I, th- I blew a hole in the wall right opposite <laughs> the bomb. We had to disarm. We had to disarm. Yeah, so basically it. it was, you were trying to lay down a trap. So if the, anybody ran past that wall, kaboom, and you blow them up. Yeah. But you decided to destroy the wall immediately. So I'm standing. Like I was basically, I was nearly right in front of it when you blew it up. Yeah, I'm but just I like, didn't understand what you meant because all I heard was breach charge wall. So I thought you wanted me to blow a hole in the wall. Do you remember when you put a grenade charge on the wall and you fired it before I told you to and it bounced off the bad guy's head and then landed on my lap and killed me? I don't actually remember that. You sure that wasn't a dream? No. <laughs> Remember I told you, yes, the grenades ricochet, they bounce. And you went, oh. Oh, yes, I remember. Yeah, and you blew my heat off with your grenade flying a bit all over the show. I apologise. Mm-hmm. But we did okay. We managed yeah. to eventually get that one done. Uh, and we did the elimination a few times. Elimination's quite good because we've gotten to the point now where to practice your ability to actually shoot in a firefight, yeah. we're just running in now. <laughs> we're not doing the sneaky sneaky because we're okay with that we can do that we're doing the get in there yeah because you need to practice that yeah but there were some occasions where i was mistaking which controls did which what did which did what sorry because i had just come off of uh, like a two-day romp on a halo 3 (laughs) yeah so you you were um because i finished i I finally finished um halo 2 for the second time hold on on, hold on hold on stop a second i think The last thing I would say about Rainbow Six Siege is that we have found... I think I've found my favourite character. Who is it? Is it Jackal? Yeah, I think so. But it could be Buck if you had given... If you... Yeah, if... A combination of the two, I think. But they're sort of my favourite characters, those two. Yeah. uh, For attack. It used to be Fusey, but now it's not. Fusey. Yeah. And here's the thing. Do you know why it's not? Why? The shotguns. Ah, uh, yes. Your love Remember left to you. the shotguns. Yeah, you went Buck and I went Jack. And I said, yeah, Buck's got the underbarrel shotgun. It's really powerful. It's more powerful than my little shotgun that I've got here, which is a lot yeah. bigger. And um, you were like, no, he doesn't. And you shot the wall. And I was like, no, press RB. And you shot the wall and the wall disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> the entire thing just vanished. Like, mm. That was a good shotgun. Yeah. I like the underbarrel shotgun on Buck. And you can reload it. It's one of the few powers that you can get unlimited ammo for because you get the ammo from the box because it's yeah. just a magazine-fed underbarrel shotgun. Yeah. Anyway, yes. Yeah, so you were going to mention that's all that we've got about Rainbow. So you were going to mention Halo when you got. Yeah. So I finally finished Halo two on this on a higher difficulty. I don't think you have. I have. No, I think you did it on ta- heroic. No, the first time I did it on normal. Oh. For- I'm playing through Halo three on normal. Yeah, I noticed that. Anyway. Yeah, because I, was, I kept getting stuck on the same part I got stuck on like the first time I played through it, which is like that last main bit mm-hmm. through the gorge. Last, yeah, thing. the last mission. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, because I was under the impression I had to defeat every enemy on that bit. I do not have to defeat every enemy on that bit. I literally just flew right through it. I just took out a few enemies and did it a lot quicker. Cheater. It's not a cheater. I didn't have to shoot down every enemy. That made mm-hmm. life a heck of a lot easier, but... Eventually, but now I'm on Halo 3, and there was a moment where I thought I was going to see the Master Chief's head. So that Chief's was the head. end of Halo 2? Yeah. Yeah. Right, so now you're into Halo 3, and there was yeah. a moment when you thought you were going to see the Chief's head. Yeah, I genuinely thought they were going to take off his helmet, and they didn't. Was that in Halo 2? No, that's in Halo 3. At the very, very, very beginning. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, when he's... Um... Lying down. Yeah, he's... Yeah. I... Armor lock. Yeah, but I keep wanting to put it to like the remastered graphics okay you, you know like in halo 1 and halo 2 yeah you can go from old graphics to new graphics mm-hmm. 
I keep wanting to put it to the new graphics and keep forgetting that does that doesn't exist for Halo 3. Halo 3 has not been fully remastered, or is yeah. it only remastered? I don't think it's been remastered at all. Because mm. it doesn't look as good as the other two. Right, okay. But I'm going through it at quite a pace. Mm. But I don't know if it's just because it's on normal or if I've just gotten better at playing it. Both. Oh, that's good. Because if you played the second one on normal, there's the second new, one took you a bit of time. There's new vehicles. Wait, is it? There's also the fact that Halo 2 is longer than any other Halo game. I didn't know that. Yeah. But yeah, so there's new vehicles, which is kind of fun to play about with. There's new weapons. There's new grenades. That 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 still confuses me. There's something I need to talk to you about. There's like symbols and things like that. There's like a visible shield, but I've not been able to utilize that yet. I don't understand how to utilize they're not, that. They're not grenades. That's equipment. It's... Yeah, but I don't understand how to use it. There's a button oh, <laughs> which... that you press. That's the thing. That, that There's no tutorial. 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 Ch- tutorial. Um, tutorial. Tutorial. Um... It's very difficult to try. And, and I, oh my, it had, took me forever to get the controls back to the controls I'm used to. Because before, oh, the, I was pressing like B or whatever and it was throwing a grenade. I didn't mean to throw a grenade. Try to punch something and it wasn't punching it did something else i think that actually threw a grenade eventually i sorted it out i was very happy but in this one again it's like you're still you're still dealing with the same enemies pretty much as the first two games it's x what about x that's the button okay well x was um reload Reload. so you've altered the system um but it's called use equipment Okay, well, I'll have to have a look at that then. But, so if you look that up, it should tell you. Yeah, I will. But something which is kind of annoying is, like I said, it's the same enemies from the past two games, and that's kind of getting a bit boring. So yeah, I get that. I, I'm starting to understand that this entire series of games is pretty much just one story arc. It's not separate stories, so it's not like separate enemies per game. Yeah, one, two, and three are a story. Oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. What What do you mean? <laughs> that's what you just said. Why <laughs> you know, You turned around and said, "I'm understanding that these are all one story." Yes, you're right. They're one story. <laughs> that's very interesting. <laughs> mm. Well, no, it sounded like you were telling me that the fourth game is different. I've not played the fourth one. I keep forgetting that. I keep thinking you've played it. Yeah, I haven't played it yet. Have you played Reach? Nope. Mm, that's very interesting. That's very very interesting. <laughs> I've played the only once you've finished this one. The only one I have I've played that you haven't is uh, ODST. That's very interesting. Very interesting. It's very interesting. But um, the other one is Halo Wars, but that's on the Game Pass, so you can play that anyway. Yeah. So have you been playing anything? No. Tell us what you think about Halo Three first. I don't know if it's just because I played the first one so many times, and also with you and Halo Two, I played so many times. I don't know. I just I I still prefer Halo One. I still prefer the first game a little bit more than this one. Um, I don't know if it's... Math- I, I don't, honestly don't know if it's just because you and I played it so much that I kind of grew to like it more. Well, my my favourite one's Halo 2. No, I can see how Halo 2's... I think maybe... F- I, I, I honestly just think it's just because I played Halo 1 so many times. Halo 2 for me because it, it, it just the way that... <sighs> It's story it really opened up Halo. It did, uh, yeah. The first one introduced Halo, but Halo Two really opens it up. You know what I mean like really cracks the whole thing right open. Yeah, I tell you what, there's parts in Halo Three that keep like messing with my head a little bit, and it's the uh... <laughs> it's the it's the Cortana bits. Like oh, she pops like up wee messages every now and it's again, like that. doesn't she? Yeah, it's like yeah. that. It messes yeah, with my head. I can see why those um, those parts would be confusing. They do sort of mess with your head a little bit. They I do. mean, we're not going to say what those parts were for spoiler reasons because I don't like giving away spoilers. But I see now that you've intimated in the video chat what you mean. I, mm. I know what you mean. Yeah, they're, <laughs> would you they're like definitely... to explain to the ladies and gentlemen how I was trying to convey what I was talking about? Yeah, you just took your hand and basically just smooshed it into your face repeatedly. <laughs> yeah. I thought, oh, no, way! I understand what that means. But I need to say, you've played Halo 2. You yeah. then moved on to Halo 3 of your own volition. Yes, because I didn't know if you wanted to play with me or not. So I... Because normally what happens is, is once I've played through it twice and you've deemed me worthy enough, I can play with you. And then once you've deemed I'm worthy enough of that, I can move on to the next game. 
But this I was like, I'm not going to wait. I am a strong, independent woman, and I can make my own decisions. And I will play Halo Three. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you, now that you've done that? You're like two and a half games at least. Mm. I think you're. Yeah, but maybe a bit more than. I'm that. about halfway through three. I think you may be slightly more than that. Oh, okay. But what are you thinking about Halo, like as a thing? I think it's pretty awesome, to be perfectly honest. Soundtrack is epic. Mm. Acting's very good. Mm. The Master Chief... As a character, I think it's pretty strong. He's pretty cool, and there's I like the fact that they've kept it a mystery so much so far. I don't know if possibly... Because I was unlocking some stuff for the game, so I don't know if it's been spoiled for me, possibly what he looks like under the helmet. I don't know how. Okay, then. Hopefully... Then probably. I mean, not, I, I've never seen anything. Are you going up to the consoles? The secret hidden consoles? I don't know what those are. You'll walk up to one, it'll be flashing, it'll say like press RB or something like that, and then you get like a video that will appear. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just that, that's ignore those. The terminals. Just, I, I, ha- I did one terminal. Did you watch the video? There, there was no video. It was literally just gar- garbled. There right, was nothing so there. It's fine to do those. But just don't watch any videos that appear. Okay. What is it that you're talking about? As in, you may um, that's um... what? Do you, what I think he is, or who he is? No, no. Why is it you think it's been spoiled? Because there was a picture of a guy without a helmet on. Where? When I was unlocking stuff for the game, because you know you've got like these token things that you can get for Halo. I went down to Halo Four by mistake, and there was like an image and. There was somebody without a helmet on. There's loads of people without a helmet on in the oh, images. Oh, okay, right. Then it's probably There's not him. hundreds of them. There's okay, it's probably, it's probably not him then. I still... Can I tell you what I think he is? Okay. I still think he's some sort of cyborg. So I thought okay. that in the first game. The fact that he never comes out of a suit. I suppose my question is about what you think about the lore is, would you read the books? Probably. Because I remember when you started playing Halo, you were like, no, I'm not reading the books, I'll just play the I games. I probably... <sighs> I'd probably read them after I play the games, unless the unless the books happen during like the first game or before. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it, you're you're sort of a safe bet as long as you buy a book that was before the latest game you've played. Yeah, I think you're safe bet. They don't normally spoil the games that haven't come out yet. Yeah, it's pretty strictly controlled when it comes to that. The original trilogy of books. Now that you've played the second game, don't spoil anything. Okay. The fact that you've not played Halo 4, but have mm. played Halo 3, mm. makes me feel like I'm going to find out more about the Master Chief in this game. Have you got anything else to say about Halo? No, that is all I have to say. Is there anything you wish to say, Thomas? Yeah, um, I finished Battlefield Hardline. How'd that go? Uh, it's rubbish. Why? It's just rubbish. It's... um. Uh... I said to somebody earlier on in the week, actually, um, when you're not, it's got stealth elements in, like you can sneak up and arrest people mm-hmm. and all that jazz and sneak around. You can even sneak past them. But when you're sneaking, the stealth seems to sort of, it feels, it's been shoehorned in to the game type yeah. to the point where it feels like you shouldn't be doing it. Like you're gaming the system a bit. It doesn't feel like actual stealth. Yeah. So when you're stealthing, you feel like you should be shooting. But when you're actually shooting, it doesn't feel good enough. So you feel like it's not, it doesn't feel good. So you're sitting there feeling like you shouldn't really be shooting either. Okay. Because it like it's a it's a rubber. It doesn't feel good. You know, we spoke about it with uh, Anthem. The shooting wasn't very good. Yeah. Like there's no real actual like enjoyment from it. Yeah. Yeah. There's like no it's... satisfaction. There's, yeah. It's the same here. You're shooting it. It doesn't feel quite right. It feels like the game put shooting in so that if you screwed up the stealth or there was a point where you don't stealth, you can you're able to shoot, but it's not quite as satisfaction. There's no the satisfaction isn't quite as high as it is for other battlefield games because they've tried to put in this whole stealth mechanic as well. Okay, so I'm not sure if they made it worse so that you had to try and stealth a bit more or whatever. It just doesn't feel good. It's also one point at the end of the game where I'm 100% certain it was... Sp- I know they were. It was spawning enemies into the building I was in after I had knocked everybody out. That's no fair. Yeah. I don't understand why it did that. It did it for a wee while. It spawned in like about eight people and I had to sprint up and down staircases to knock them out before they found the dead, the knocked out guy next to them. But I was able to eventually get it to the point where it stopped. It's not, it's, it's not, it's not a satisfactory game, really. Um, it's just the story kind of makes some sense, but isn't really that satisfactory. It seems to be set up for a sequel that they're never going to make. It, it's just not very good. Fine. Like, there's one point in it where a bomb goes off and like 
loads of people in the game die from like splinters or stuff like that but this guy gets blown up and thrown across the room from a bomb that goes off like three millimeters in front of him and he's okay you know i mean he's he's not okay he's like he's he's not in a good in good shape he needs medical attention but he's able to look at you and say i'm all right Uh, uh, get me a doctor but don't take me to a hospital because then i'll get arrested mate you should be in about eight pieces how how are you just wandering around (laughs) That's really weird. That is real. That was the same with like Rainbow. It was like we would shoot people like I don't know how many times and like theirs wouldn't go down. Like the guy I tried to knife twice who yeah. just magically survived somehow and he shot me in the face. No, it was, um, it was that was the last two guys as well. I don't, we'd have won that. Anyway, no, it's just it just feels off. It feels wrong. It doesn't feel like it's properly made because I played Battlefield 3 and that felt really tight, you know. And, yeah. Uh, I've heard a lot about Battlefield 4. It's really, really good. Battlefield Hardline's just like we've given up. We're putting this out. Like I respect that they tried something different, but I don't really think they tried something different because it's just not right. No. It's just it's just like all the things I said from before, it's just not very it doesn't it's not it doesn't feel good to play because none of the systems really feel like they tried. Mm. Sort of like Hitman's shooting is not very good to try and promote you to be stealthy, but this is Battlefield. Yeah, it's not supposed to be stealth. It's not Battlefield. It's not supposed to be a stealth. There's it's stealth elements. It's not supposed elements. to be. There's stealth yeah, elements, but it's not a stealth game. It's not supposed to be like this. No. It just doesn't feel right. You're either a police officer who who's from like 1992. Like you're partnered up with Mel Gibson and you're just shooting everybody you can see. That was the year I was born. That's a Die Hard reference. Or you are either the world's luckiest or inept police officer when it comes to just sneaking up behind people like you've got an unlimited amount of handcuffs and it's like even the the cone of vision is ridiculous because in the cone of vision they can't see you like you can stand in front of them and look at them uh like from 15 foot away but as long as you're crouched you're basically invisible right yeah but then they start seeing you anyway and you're like well what's the point in the cone of vision on the mini map if they're going to see me and there's no map in the menu so you can't plan a route to sneak past them as I said, you're either a mass murderer or you are somehow some sort of weird Houdini creature who just sneaks around the place, disappearing. Yeah, it's like, oh, I thought I saw someone over there. Where did he go? He crouched. And they can't hear you. If you're crouched, you can just... Peripheral vision doesn't exist. And if you're crouched, you can sneak right up behind them and then shout, freeze, please. The genuine says rubbish. Sometimes, sometimes they'll hear you shout, freeze, police, and other people will go, what, what was that? And other times they won't. But you're genuinely talking about inside like a, a warehouse, right? Mm. Like a garage sort of size, like where you take your car to get fixed. Yeah. I can be in the corner of that and shout, police, freeze. And apparently there's people in the room who can't hear it. That doesn't make sense. No, but that's the game's mechanics. It's broken. I remember I, I once um, I lowered a car that was attached to a magnet. And that caused the one remaining bad guy on the map to become permanently engaged in combat with me. I couldn't hide. Normally you can hide and they stop active combat no matter where i went on the entire map he knew where i was yeah i couldn't hide from him yeah and it stayed in combat because i lowered the car why surely eventually he'd be expected to go back to work <laughs> oh that's rubbish i'm sorry yeah it's just uh it's it's weird it's just really really weird it's it's shoehorned systems but it's like they shoehorned both the shooting and the stealth in and so nothing works it's just a terrible feeling game. It feels like a B game. It doesn't feel like a triple A game. It feels like a B game. That's how bad it is, you know? It's just terrible. It's awful. If you get it for free, you know, fine, whatever. Play it for a laugh, but don't pay any money for that game. It's terrible. That is my official rating <laughs> out of 10. Thank you for that. Shall we move on and play, play the game? Play Tommy's uh, fun game. I, I So far, it's two, two to one to you, isn't it? I've managed to guess two, and I wasn't able to guess one. Yeah, so that's two one to you. Oh yes, that's right. <laughs> it may, it may, it may actually be. I think it might actually be three one. I can't remember. Hmm. Yeah. Right. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. There are no words I've had to blank out. You have played this game. Okay. I'm also not on the agenda, so I'm not looking at it. Yeah, but you, you should look. Oh, pardon me. You should look up the agenda once I've read it. So I don't okay. have to read it a hundred times, but I'll read it first, okay? Okay. Are you ready? I am. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I am prepared. I shall now prepare myself for my performance. 
Lelu lucky, lelu lucky, lelu lucky, jelly lucky, jacky taka jacka jacka. I am ready. I was a tongue twister and I lost. Lelu lucky, jelly lucky, jacka jacka, lelu jacka. Put the fingers away. Come on, give me the synopsis. Sorry. Actually, we should explain the game, shouldn't we? So what we do is I take some blurb off the back of a video game box. I put it into a translator from English into a language, in this case, Uyghur. I then put it back into a different translate page on Google, a different tab, Uyghur back into English. Yeah, this is a game that X- where... outside Xbox did and we're playing it. Yeah, I, I, we don't need to keep saying that, right? I put that in the description every week. And I I'm pretty sure they've stolen it from somebody else. But no, stop it. It's, it's feeling a wee bit like we're paying homage to them here. We're not. We stole an idea because it was funny. Bleh. So, so that's how we play the game. I then read what we've the got. Give me the synopsis. Abigail tries to guess what game it is. What's the synopsis? Here we go. Thank you. In a world where gods are incomplete, a group of shadows threatens the whole of humanity. You are only in the middle of the rule and the ancient power they are waiting for. Shall I read it one more time? I can bring it up on the thing. In a world where the gods are incomplete, a group of shadows threatens the whole of humanity. You are only in the middle of the rule and the ancient power they are waiting and for. And I've played this before. You have with me. Is it Halo? No. I've not played any games with you apart from Halo that, and Siege. That was a bit creepy. Yes, it was. No. <laughs> gods are incomplete. A group of shadows threatens the whole of humanity. We've played this together. Yes, a bit of it. Elder Scrolls? No. I don't know why I've chosen to be so creepy. Well, we've not played any other games apart from Halo, Siege, and um. <laughs> Elder Scrolls. Not played any other games, fool. <laughs> not played any other games. Oh, Star Trek. Right, that would be what is that your um, <laughs> fourth guess or third no, guess or but... something like that? So you need to sort of decide. You can't just, you've only played about 20 games in your life. You can't just keep throwing them all out because eventually you'll get there. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me actually think well, about this. You need this. to sort of decide. Gods what you're, are oh, incomplete. Been, hold on, hold on. Uh, does this sound weird to you? Because uh, apparently I'm redlining it, but I don't feel like I'm speaking that loud. No? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this okay back here? Yeah. This is probably better back here. Um, point is you can't just keep guessing all the games that you've got in your head because But you and I, if you and I have played this game, gods are incomplete. Yeah. A group of a, a group of shadows threatens the whole of humanity. You are yeah. only in the middle of the rule and the ancient power they are wait they are waiting for. Yep. Yugura, whatever it is. Yugur. Yugur. Or Uyghur, sorry. Uyghur. Oh right, sorry. It's Uyghur. I think it's Uyghur. Yeah, I think so. You and I have played this. A bit of it. Anthem? Is it Anthem? You need to give me a final answer. But it's either this or the division. I'm gonna go with anthem. You win. Yay. I'm quite upset because I gave you like three free guesses where I explained what it was, and then you just pulled the actual answer out. Ugh. We need to come up with a stricter set of rules. I feel <laughs> like I'm giving you too much free guesses here. We can call that a draw if you want. No, I'll decide whether or not I get the point, but because you did guess like four to five times, <laughs> but it's somebody gets the point. It's not a draw. Um, that was a good one. So yeah. what? So what is that? What was the gods are incomplete? What? What exactly is that supposed to be? Hold on, hold on. I can get. I can get there. Right. This is the uh, English. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. Just tell me it. I'm just. Give me a second. We put up our Christmas lights today. They looked very nice. They look very nice. Very festive. I sent Tommy a picture, and his re his reply was his reply to the photo. I said it was oh my goodness or whatever it was like shock. I'm going to say my reply was Lord, Lord. So the actual original was um, anthem blurb in the back of the box is in a world left unfinished by the gods, a shadowy faction threatens all of humankind. Only you stand between the dominion and the ancient power they covet. So in a world left unfinished by the gods became in a world where the gods are incomplete. And only you stand between the dominion became you are you are only in the middle of the rule. <laughs> Can I tell you something interesting? You could have kept that original synopsis and never would have gotten it. <laughs> yeah. That was a good one. Well but done. I like that. You are only in the middle of the rule from only you stand between the dominion. So rule and dominion is what. 
it got confused with. Yeah. Yeah, I do like the game. It's just that it's very, very difficult because you've played so few games. And I can't really put games up you've never heard of. You know, that would just be too unfair. Well, some games I will have heard of. Yeah. Because you've played them. Or I've watched people play them. Things like The Last mm. of Us and The Man of Madan, Until Dawn. Little Hope's coming out, or is Little Hope already out? I can't remember. It's the third one in that series of games. I look very chubby. <sighs> yep. Do I look chubby? <laughs> you're you're blowing up your cheeks. Of course you do. I just look. I just I just feel like I put on like loads of weight, and I I'm not, but I feel like I have. I just keep looking in the mirror, and my face looks bloated. Yeah, I keep looking in the mirror, and my stomach's bloated. I can't tell if mine's bloated or not. It's just big. I got all fats. You're not fat. What? You're not fat. <laughs> do some sit-ups. We'll video chat and we'll do sit-ups workout together. Nah. Like you do jackknifes with me. I'm not doing jack the knife. Jack knives, not jack the knife. Anyway, thank you for the game. You're welcome. I you enjoyed again. it. I enjoyed it very much. I like being able to use my brain. <sighs> I don't get it. I, I don't... don't, don't, don't I, I was going to say, I don't get a chance often to do that, and I just totally just forgot what I was saying halfway through talking. Mm, which is kind of funny, because you were talking about using your brain. Yeah. So did you enjoy the game? You enjoyed the I game? I did. Okay. I did enjoy the game. Shall we wrap up? I think we should, because it's On you go. getting late. <laughs> yeah. On so you go. thank you guys for listening. If you would like to hit that subscribe button, that'd be fantastic. You can hit the notification button, hit the share button, hit the like button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. You can email us at overshadow.shadowcast at gmail.com or you can find us on Facebook at overshadow.shadowcast. All that wonderful information is going to be in the description box below. If you'd like to leave a comment, that'd be fantastic. Are there any stories you'd like us to talk about? Is there any games you'd like us to talk about? Is there any games you'd like us to play that we can afford? (laughs) We have to be able to afford them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have to be cheap. Be or on Game Pass. They have to be cheap. Yeah, they have to be cheap. Was, was, I don't have a job. I need to stop me. We don't have any money. No, um, we got, we're very poor. Um, with all the shop shop, we can't steal anything anymore. You were stealing? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that we can't anymore. I'm not saying we did. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for so much for listening. We genuinely really do appreciate it. We love doing this. Oh, I, I really like, I love doing this. You too. Because it says time for that i can spend time with me mate and chat and see him and make sure he's still alive you too thank you you too thank you you too i don't know what's happening now keep Are saying you? stuff and i'll keep saying you too in a <laughs> and we will start our workout regime this week tomorrow you, you and too. me 7 a.m outside too. you too jackknife galore and squats you too. sit-ups no i don't do sit-ups i can't do sit-ups i need someone to sit on my feet or I just look like a turtle on my back. You're not doing them right. Apparently, no, you don't need... There's a way you can do them. That... Oh, I don't know. It's doing stomach crunches. Mm. Do lunges. Do you want me to tell you a secret? Okay. I'm going for a poo. Why <laughs> did you have to say that? <laughs> what are you doing? I will see you later. Thank you guys so much. Like I said, thank you guys so much for listening. I hope you yes, enjoyed thank it. thank you. Farewell. Ditto. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Everybody stay safe. Bye-bye.